Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a post. It's been trying to find something of some use to post on. It's been a little bit quiet, and with this corona lockdown, um, I thought I'd try and fix a device that I've had in for a while that, well, to be honest, it isn't fixable. If you've watched any of the iFixit type stuff, this is a Surface laptop. Beautiful little things. Um, this one's the i7 with uh, 8 gig and 256 storage on board. The SSD's gone though, um, so if you've got a device like this, um, or a surf yeah, anything like a Surface, say that one up there, the Surface Pro 7, uh, 5, sorry, onwards, where you don't get the option to take out the NVMe, it's built into the motherboard. Um, you're kind of screwed if you haven't got warranty, because Microsoft say you have to pay four or 500 quid to get it back. Now I paid 160 or 170 pounds for this with postage, uh, and, I originally hoped I could fix it, so far it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It's mint though, I mean look, it's absolutely mint. Um, the keyboard's beautiful, the screen on the i7 has the Intel Iris 640, which even on the Surface Laptop 2, they've only got the 620 on the i7 version, so I'm sticking with this, I don't need the cores, this will just become a little temporary machine for me to watch things like Netflix on. Um, but. I said it was broken, I said the SSD is done, but as you can see it's working. And that's because I've used a program um, called, bear with me one second, I can't pronounce it, I can't say it has the OS Winter USB. So you get a USB drive and you put it into a program and that basically creates your fully installed version of Windows that runs off a USB and when you boot it up, it actually starts up the Windows process for the installation as if it was on a normal hard drive. Now, I'll quickly show you how it works. Now, there's plenty of other videos around now on this, so if this is a bit choppy, I'm sure you can find others. Win to USB Enterprise, you select the image you want to use. So on mine, that is going to be not that one. That one, Windows 10, and then I choose Windows 10 Pro, and then I do Next, and then I select a USB drive. Now, I'm not going to do it on this one, uh, but effectively, you choose Yes there. Let's do No there, because otherwise that's going to wipe my system. Uh, and then there's one more screen after that, that you say the file size, the partitions are on there, and you just do Accept. And then in about half an hour's time, you've got yourself a disk that you can then plug into the USB port and your system will boot. Uh, now, now, of course you can actually say why, why not other people not doing this, but I found with the USB that it was a little bit temperamental. So as an example, if I had like a small USB disc about that big, let's see if I can find one to make more reference of. So one like, one like this, either that one or that one, uh, then using that, even as an integral 1 to 8, it boot absolutely fine. And I suppose if you turn power management off and use it just as a laptop, as in like in the old days where you turn it on and you shut it down, it was great. The trouble is I've got so used to just walking away from a laptop. Uh, and I also found USB to be a little bit annoying uh, in that I think that the system for power management will try and turn it off or it will try and turn itself off. So then you'd get crashes. So I I have quite a few bits of spares from old Surface books and this ugly little contraption that absolutely makes my life a lot better for this device is a so it's an EZ cast USB to NVMe M2 2280 drive that slots in there, you take the screw off here, to screw off there, pull this whole body out, screw your own M2 in there. And then you connect that, that's actually a USB type C interface there. And that goes into the USB port. Um, when I did the, the, bear with me a second, the Winter USB program, it recognized the drive as a USB device, but I had to leave a video playing in the background because my system kept crashing. And it was like it was almost going into power, so. So that might have just been my system, but if you do have a similar issue when you try and create your own on an M on an NVMe, just leave a video player in the background. Um, 
And then I can boot a USB drive into NVMe and it, I don't know how to say it in any other way, it is absolutely brilliant. Now, I haven't got around to install an office, um, so let's see, just show you that. It, try and open something like Netflix up. Or even YouTube just to show you that it works. That's 4K. This is our lovely Avengers, no, but no problem at all running this. Now that logging onto other systems and just like Netflix and showing you that working as well. Um, just take my word for it, it works sweet as a nut. Outperforms, in my mind, the USB little thumb drive. Um, we've gone from a data rate. It seems absolutely great as well. So it seems to happily do file copies. I haven't got around to installing the full version of Office onto here yet. I've just used it more as a browsing machine. Um, like I said, lazy days, uh, lockdown blues. Um, now it boots just a little bit slower than normal, but it, it does boot. And if you've got one of these wonderful computers sitting around doing nothing, then I'd strongly recommend you go out and worst case, put a USB uh, onto it and put some life back into the old girl. Put the password in here. There we go. They're on. Onto eBay and all the usual stuff. Just flies. I wish I had more on here to show you. I was just so excited at the fact I got it working. Um, now, if you do put the small little USB drive in there, it does look a lot better. But as I said. I was walking away from this device, leaving it for 10 or 15 minutes. And then when I came back, it would have a blue screen on it. It might have just been the USB drive that I was using. Uh, but I found that overall this setup with this external NVMe caddy seems to be brilliant. I think I've pushed it from a hardware point of view, the best I'm going to get out of it. This cable is quite ugly. But when you're using the laptop like this, anything you see is that. And you know what? Think of worse things to do uh, and just to prove to you that i'm not doing anything silly on here i'm not trying to lie to you um create disk partitions the issue with this disk is if it's read only um i can't do anything with it this is the c drive uh, and on this one here, I've tried everything under the sun. I've activated it. I've gone into all the usual tools to try and delete the partition. I just get hardware errors. I've even contacted Toshiba Direct to make the NVMe or the SSD drive on the inside. Microsoft want £400 to get it fixed. You know what? I'll run on this for a little bit. One of these NVMe's, um, I think you can pick up a Sabrent for a 500 gig or even a 200 gig one for less than 40, 50 quid. This was £20. Just make sure you buy the right one. Uh, and as I said, it will bring a Surface Book, like that one, that's the Surface Book 5. It brings it back to life if the if the disc's gone. Uh, this is a Surface laptop. If you've got an older Surface Pro, you can replace the NVMe. And if you've got a Surface Book, you can take the screen off and put a disc in there. So I wouldn't recommend it for that. It's just for these little devices when you've effectively been shafted by Microsoft and been sold a disposable laptop. And to me, I'd rather have that ugliness and keep it at home for like a simple you know, email web type laptop and perhaps use it as a test device. Maybe do some coding on it and do some stuff in here that I wouldn't really want to do on a live machine um, and leave my live machine, which was what he made up. Remember, uh, it's what's the right word for it. He's debuted originally on eBay, on Amazon, sorry. Or the one with the broken button is still going absolutely strong so that will stay as my main machine and this will just be a little test one uh, all the functionality works 
touches there as well. Um, I can't fault it yet. Um, I'll post comments if I find anything else wrong with it. But just to summarise, NVMe M2 external disc. Um, the one that comes in the Surface Book will work just fine. Caddy at 20 quid from eBay. Um, I can put a link into the description if anybody wants it. Um, you have to buy Winter USB. It's a small price to pay to get your system back. Um, there are other ways of obtaining it, but that's not what this video is about. But I'd recommend buying it anyway. I'm not endorsed by them in any way, shape or form. I've just used their product and it works. So I think that's the only endorsement I'm getting from them. Um, and they're the three parts you need to get your system working. Uh, if anyone's interested in what I've done here, please post in the comments and I'll post the video with the process end-to-end -end from creating the USB to booting up the system. But really, it is so easy. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.